today is Ta-da! stone stone okay okay so here we have one two three cups can you guess which one of these cups could be the stone hmm that is it good job it is cup number one so here we have a cup full of stones so as you can see, the stones are big and these stones are white, but we can get stones in many, many different colors. Okay, stones can be heavy when we have lots and lots of them put together. So here's our stone. Stone. Good job. Okay, so number two. The second thing we're going to be learning about today is... Ta-da! So here we have... Soil. 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 Good job. Okay, now can you see which one of our cups has the contents of soil? Is it one, two, or three? Hmm. What is it? Good job. Cup number two. So here we have our soil. Now what colour is the soil? Here we have a dark brown colour and you can see the soil is very, very small grain. The soil is small. So with our stones, they're big and our soil is much smaller and we have a dark brown colour. So that's our soil. Next, okay, number three. The third thing that we are going to be learning about is... Ta-da! Sand. Sand. Good job. Okay, so can you see which one of our cups contains sand? Is it number one, two, or three? Hmm. What is it? Good job. It is cup number three. So here we have our sand sand now as you can see the sand is a light brown and sometimes yellow color and inside our sand the grains are the smallest of the three so we have our stone where the they are big we have our soil 
where they are small and then we have our sand and they are the smallest of them all so that's our three things that we are going to be learning about today now we're going to see where can we find stones soil and sand okay so we're going to start with stone where do you think we can find stone hmm where you sit here we have a quarry. Quarry. And a quarry is when we dig and dig and dig right down into the earth and we get lots and lots of stone. Quarries are very, very big and it's where we can gather all our stone. So that's our quarry. 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 Okay, so that's our stone. Stone. And where can we find a stone? In the quarry. Quarry. Good job. Okay, next we have our soil. Soil. Now, where can we find soil? Can you think of somewhere where we might be able to find soil? Ta da! So here we have a garden. Garden. So when you go out into your garden, you might be able to find lots and lots of soil. Soil on the ground. And if you can't see soil, sometimes it can be underneath the grass. So remember the soil is brown and we can find that in the garden. Soil. Soil. In the garden. In the garden. Okay, next we have our sand. Now, can you think of somewhere where we might be able to find sand? Hmm, where you sit. Wow, so here we have a beach. Beach. And a beach we can find lots and lots of sand near the sea. Beach. Beach. Okay, so we have sand. Sand. On the beach. On the beach. Okay, and that's our different what's. We have stone. Stone. In the quarry. In the quarry. Soil. Soil. In the garden. In the garden. Sand. Sand. On the beach. On the beach. Okay, and now we're going to look at some different uses for our stone, soil, and sand. So, so what do we use them for? Okay, so first we're going to start with stone. Can you think of something that we can use stone for? Ta-da! Construction. Construction. And construction is when we can build different things. So we might make houses or roads using stone. Stone. So stones are very, very useful when it comes to construction. Construction. Okay, next we're going to look at soil. And we're going to see what can we use soil for. Ta-da! So we can use soil for growing plants. Growing plants. So soil has lots and lots of different nutrients and it locks in water. And that means that we can grow flowers and vegetables using soil. So it's very, very useful for growing plants. Growing plant. Ta-da! Now we can make glass. Glass. And to do that, we can get our sand and we make our sand very, very small and very, very hot. And when we do that in the process, we can make glass. Glass. So that's what our sand is useful for. Glass. Glass. Okay, so that's our different types of stone, soil and sand, where we can find them and what they're useful for. So we have stone. Stone. We can find that in a quarry. In a quarry. And it is useful for construction. Construction. We have soil. Soil. And we can find soil in the garden. In the garden. And we can use soil to grow plants. Growing plant. Okay, and last we have Sand. Sand. We can find sand on the beach. On the beach. And we can use sand to make 
glass. glass. So there are three different types stone soil and sand okay so here we have our worksheet for today and this worksheet is saying let's go hunting for stones soil and sand tick the box when you find it then write its name and lastly draw a picture of where you found it okay so this is asking us to do three different things you're going to go outside and you're going to look for stones. When you find the stone, you're going to tick the box. Then you're going to write its name, stone. Stone. And last, you're going to draw a picture of where you found the stone. And you're going to do the same for soil. Soil. And sand. Sand. And then when you're finished, you're going to write your name in the top corner. Don't forget when you're finished to take a photo so that me and teacher Bo can see your beautiful work. Okay, a good job today everyone and we'll see you next time. Bye bye! bye.